Welcome to Ghost of a Tale. This is an action RPG where you play as an adorable little minstrel mouse. A uh, minstrel is like a traveling musician, like a bard, I think. I saw it years ago and became interested in it, mostly because it was gorgeous and the main character just was this fuzzy, adorable little mouse and I just, oh, I just wanted to play as them. It looked so cool. And then it kind of fell out of my radar for a while and then now it has just come completely out of early access. So this is the full release that we're about to get into. Uh, I've played it for just a couple minutes to tweak some settings, but otherwise haven't done much, so let's go ahead and start a new game. In the beginning was the green flame, a force without conscience consuming all in its path. The creatures of the world fought back, but one by one they fell, only to rise again as puppets of the emerald fire. It was the rats alone who stood and fought. Until at last, at Periclave, the green flame was extinguished. Mara. Mara, where are you? So here we are, we are stuck in jail. I'm just staring at the main character and it's it's just fun just to move around because they're so adorable, look at them. Oh my god, I love the main character so much. Red Rose. New quest, Flowers for Mara. Uh, one out of 17 roses. You stood before the Baron, your wife Mara at your side. He bid you play the poisoned cup, and you knew then this was not for his amusement, but a test. And so play you did, but from Mara there was only silence, and a look of such defiance. He moved to strike her, the Baron, and you cried out and went to her, and then darkness. How many days have passed since then? In your heart you know she's still alive and that you'll one day find her. Until then, all you have are these flowers, your memories of her, and a question. Why? Okay, so I guess we are starting with <laughs> sort of a, a quest to find our little mouse wife, which is maybe not exactly the most creative thing, but ah, I don't care, I'm an adorable mouse. You can sneak around. You can even sprint on all fours. <laughs> ah, I can sleep. Hmm. So yeah, I know from trailers that the rats are, I guess, the enemies of the mouse. They are actually imprisoning me, and you have to like avoid them or fight them and stuff. But they are apparently the ones that fought the green flame. empty. Chamber pot. Nothing inside. That's probably for the best. Health is low. Access your inventory and eat. Let's go ahead and do that. So I've looked at this inventory a little bit so I kind of know what I'm doing. So here's our food. We got a sour apple and some mushrooms. So that thing in the top left is apparently our health. Almost max now. Can we actually sleep? No time to sleep. Yeah, I didn't think so. Grid is cemented into the stone floor and cannot be opened. Oh, there's another rose up there. So yeah, so each new one adds another page to the book. I'll go ahead and read those later. Bars are cold and unmovable. Mysterious message. New quest to jailbreak. Find me, cover your tracks, and move unseen. S. Well, thank you, S. Got someone looking out for me on the outside. Hold on. Is there an apple? There's an apple inside of that cage. 
Is there some way for me to get it? Look at it. Perfectly green apple right there. Ah, oh well. Put some candles, florins, and fire steel. Yeah, so when you first start out right in here, you have a, um, a candlestick, but there's no candle on it. But I just got some candles, so if I equip this, I hold a tiny little light. And it looks like it burns up pretty quickly. In the top left, that blue thing's going down pretty fast, actually. But it's so adorable, and my tiny little mouse with a little tiny candle. Ah. Oh. And we've also got fire steel. I don't know if that's just, like, used to start the candlestick, or if you can actually use that for something. I've got it in my hand there. Oh. Huh. I guess you can start fires. Cool, good to know. Sale manifest. Name, Tilo. Oh, that's right, I'm Tilo. I'm a minstrel, offenses, acts of sedition. A little tutorial thing, you've attracted a guard's attention. That's just telling you that you can hide inside of things. Such as chest. And apparently it's when you hide that you can actually save the game. Do a quick save right here. Yeah, those are the rats. Not as cute as little mice. And also, we can hide in here, too. <laughs> this is so cute, the way the huge black eyes just pop over the rim. I love the running animation. Oh, look at that. Coming really fast on all fours. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's a stamina system. That's why sometimes I'm not able to sprint. Uh, yeah, the bar in the top left. Looks like the stamina, like, counts down from your max health, I guess. So let's go ahead and eat something else. Another apple core should get us to max. There we go. Yeah, so can't sprint for too long. Just, like, maybe five seconds. That's the guard over there. Looks like they're sleeping, so I think we're fine. As long as that doesn't wake them up. Nope, we're good. Okay, and this is as far as I played before. <laughs> I can eat little bugs. Oh, look at him. He's so fuzzy. Noises over there. I can talk to somebody over there? Grain! Oh, I just took a lot of grain. It's got to restore a lot. Uh, so it looks like if you ha haven't eaten it before, it doesn't tell you how much it's going to restore. You see it says, uh... Actually, let me switch to the mouse for a second. Oh, crap. <laughs> well, I can't really point at the thing, but... Yeah, just to the right of the name where it says yellow bug, it says, like, uh, plus question mark, question mark, HP. So don't know how much it's going to restore, because I haven't eaten it. Same with bread, but I have eaten mushrooms, so it tells me plus eight. Stick. A sturdy branch, well-balanced for throwing, breaks with a sharp crack. Can be used to create a distraction or dislodge an item from its perch. Ooh, maybe I can use that to get the apple. So D-pad left and right to cycle through tools, equip, unequip... Oh, okay. I didn't know that. Cool. So I can probably switch to, like, yeah, the candle. Okay. Yeah, uh, let's go back and see if we can get that apple. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it highlights it when you have it. I guess if I have it highlighted and press Y, it's probably gonna get it. There we go. Haha. Uh -huh. Apple and an apple core. 
I love it that you can eat all this stuff that, you know, if you were playing a typical human in an RPG, you would never eat, like, an apple core or a bug. But a mouse would, of course. I love that animation. I'm never going to get over it. Oh yeah, it is dark. There we go. Helps a little bit. It's really not that bright, though. Sewer key. Okay. <laughs> Look at them! This whole episode is going to be me just staring at little Tilo. You need the candlestick for that. Wait, does that mean I can burn it? Banner of the Red Paw, the symbol of an oppressive regime. Haha, <laughs> fuck the fascists. Also, looks like there's some money in there. Oh, cool. Well, hello there, friend. Little pirate froggy. Oh! Didn't see the puddle of water. Got a little bug here, too. That's some nasty water. Old pirate frog. Ferret's balls. What do you think you're doing, Mousy? Barging into my cell uninvited. Do you know who I am? I'm sorry, I need an invitation to come into your cell. Read footnote. What's that? Ferret's balls. Ferrets are renowned for their wedding festivities, which involve magnificent balls, often danced at a breakneck pace. You sure about that? I feel like that's like a... Like a rated G explanation for something that is definitely talking about testicles. Because I have no idea. You don't know your own name? No. Wait. Carold Red Whiskers, that's it. Carold Red Whiskers. At least I was. Navigator of the Lake Witch under Captain Otto Powder Keg. Captain Otto Powder Keg. Stocky barrel of a rat with a short fuse. They were captain of the Lake Witch, a uh, galleon that for more than a dozen years terrorized the merchant ships that ferry goods between the five great ports of Lake Valia. It said that he'd wax his tail and set it alight before going into battle, and that it was this that gave him his name. Captain Powder Cake gained notoriety for his crimes, and fame from the handsome Wanted poster which he himself had printed up and distributed in order to bolster his renown. The captain was finally captured when his ship wrecked against submerged rocks just off the eastern shore of Lake Valia, near Dwindling Heights Keep. The cause of the wreck was never established, but it will likely remain a mystery. For once the doors of Dwindling Heights closed behind him, the captain was never heard of again. Yeah, I believe that's actually the place that we are in right now. Dwindling Heights Keep. So you've come to rob me, have you, you little scrunt? A word too rude to define. <laughs> uh, of course not. Two things I can't stand. The smell of mice and the smell of lies. What'll it take to get your stink out of my cell? Please, I need your help. Is that right? And what's in it for me? Uh, perhaps I could try and find the key to your chains, set you free? Free? <laughs> Why would I want to be free? Being free is what got me put in here in the first place. Well, that and the piracy thing. No, I've got everything I need right here. Damp air, all the flies I can eat, and my own stool. But there is something. Down the corridor, the sleeping guard. I need you to strangle him. Uh... W why? Because it called me a pirate. But, aren't you a pirate? Aye, and proud of it. 
But it was the way he said it. Like being a pirate's a crime. <laughs> Carol looks so sad there. <laughs> but isn't it a crime? Aye, it is. I don't know how ashamed of it. Then why would you want to kill him? Because he called me a pirate. Oh, are we going in circles now? <laughs> yeah. Uh, we're just going around in circles now. Exactly. Exactly. So you'll do it then. I, I'm not a murderer. Fair enough. Why don't you just steal a bottle of his rot gut for me then? And I'll see if uh, I can't help. Okay. So I guess killing is optional. Rot gut, an alcohol made from putrescent oleander wood and something of an acquired taste. Coincidentally, taste is the first of the five senses to be ruined by Rotgut's consumption. <laughs> I didn't know this game would be so funny. Okay, still Rotgut, gotcha. So I guess we're just like reading that book, flip the pages with their little froggy foot. Pass up some mushrooms. I feel like I've got so much food already. I wonder if there's like a carry weight limit? Um, I don't see anything. Hopefully it's unlimited. Okay. Oh, I saw that getting bigger for a second. Is that... Yeah, that little red thing that's growing, I guess that's them hearing me. They can't be seeing me because their eyes are closed. Because if I sneak... Yeah. If I sneak, that doesn't really go up. Or it goes. It does go up, but very, ooh, very slowly. Okay. Um, you're being seen versus you're only heard. Looks like the difference is if you're being seen, the outside of that little diamond is white. It's kind of subtle. Red bug. Do I still have a stick, by the way, or... No, it gets consumed when you throw it. Okay. Need the jail master key. Alright. Let's go ahead and save. It's such a cool saving system. Oh, look at all those flags I can burn. So much food. Ooh, ooh, come here, come here. Oh, there we go. There we go. It's the rocket I needed, but no reason I can't take some more of these. An empty wine bottle, hefty enough to knock out any guard without a helmet, if thrown with precision. And can also be used to create a distraction or dislodge an item from its perch. Okay. Ooh, no, put that down. This will come in handy. Yeah, I'm gonna have to make sure I look up. It, it's kind of funny. I think one of the biggest things I don't do in games, and I think people in general as well, they don't usually look up. I don't know why, but for some reason that's so unnatural to me to like look up at things. But I need to especially do that because there's things we can knock down and because we're so small. Little buggy. There we go. I'm sure this is locked too. The screaming door. Uh, I'm guessing if I opened that it would wake the guard. <laughs> if it's called the screaming door. Oh! Oh, okay. I was wondering if that'd wake them up. Um, hold on. And run!
Okay. Yeah, they react to that very fast. Well, if I'm going to burn those down, which I want to, then I think I need to knock them out. Let's wait till they go back to sleep. I'm hoping they're a fast sleeper. Looks like it. Yep, very fast. So let's try this. Said with precise aim. There we go. I wonder if you can actually, like, I guess you can probably free aim it. But I'm guessing if that little marker appears, it's probably a guaranteed hit. There we go. Ooh, it's actually not that long. Um, okay, they've got a key, handkerchief. Cool. Oh, it's stopped going down. Oh. Oh, huh, that's strange. So it was going down pretty fast, but it looks like if you're, like, standing on them, like, looting them, I guess, or even if you're not looting, if you're just standing on them at all, it looks like it doesn't go down? Like, right there, it stopped going down. But then if I move here... Now it is going down. Huh. I'm standing on your tummy. Ha <laughs> ha. Burn it. So, very temporary. And I guess it was just a nice happenstance that that first banner had some coins behind it. Generally, they don't, it looks like. So I still don't have the Jailmaster key. Okay, they're about to wake up. Are they gonna come looking for me, by the way? Or are they just gonna... Oh, yeah, they're in, like, alert mode. Uh-oh. Uh, put that down. Shit. Oh, good. It didn't make noise. Okay, we're fine. Will they hear me around a corner? No, okay, they don't hear me around the corner, so I can just kind of, like, run over here. Ooh, that goes deep down there. Another candle? Nice. I gotta remember I can jump. I love how fast and nice that save is. Like, the ability to save and I can just hide in anything. Not quite save anywhere, but like pretty close to it. What's that? Oh, just the door. Flooded cell key. Oh, so many keys. Yeah, I've heard there's quite a bit of backtracking in this game. Or at least in the early access version before the, the full release. So I'm guessing a lot of these places I won't be able to go into until sometime later. Okay, let's get that rock get to... What was it, Carold? Oh. They almost discovered me, actually. Gotta be careful. Pusillon... Pusillonymous? What does it mean, this word? Uh... It means... To lack courage, I think. I'm totally guessing I don't actually know what it means. Ah, uh, in that case... What are you doing in my cell, you... Pus... Pusillonymous little merkin? Here, the bottle you wanted. It's his last one. Good. Now pop the bottle's neck twixt my lips. The deft flick of his head, the frog sends a bottle spinning across his cell. It shatters into pieces against the wall. Every time that grunt gets soused, or sauced? Sauced? Yeah, I have to put up with his damn snoring. Well, no more. I've done as you asked. Now will you help me? I give you my word as a pirate. But I suppose I can make an exception. I'll answer a few of your questions. What is it you want? Hmm. Well, it definitely wasn't them who helped me escape the cell, right? It was somebody with 
the initial S. Um, I know what dungeon this is. How long have I been here? Uh, let's see. Must have been more than ten days now since they brought you in. Dead to the world you were. Right then. That's your first question. Asked and answered. Hmm. Well, I mean, they're not going to know anything about my wife, probably, right? I might, might as well ask, though. I'm looking for someone. Mara, my wife. Is she a mouse? Wearing a hood, yes. <laughs> then who can say? It's not easy to tell you mice apart with your ears and your tails and your silly hats. Kolba. A mouse's hat or hood counts among their most prized possessions and is a source of great pride, representing, as it does, their profession and their social status. A mouse of any repute is never seen by any creature, save for their spouse, without their kolba. There are, however, notable exceptions. It's said, for example, that while occupying the town watchtower in protest against harsh working conditions, the quarry mice of Hume threw off their hoods, emphasizing to all the seriousness of the matter, whilst at the same time making it difficult for the soldiers of the Red Paw to later identify the culprits. Interesting. So it's a Kolba. They're not silly. <sighs> right then, I'll give you two more questions. Oh, so every question but one. What dungeon is this? You're in Dwindling Heights Keep on the shore of Lake Valia. For centuries, the keep at Duinlan, Duin, Duinlan Heights has defended the eastern shore of Lake Valia. Though once a fine building, the keep has long since fallen into disrepair, its greatest enemy no longer marauding ferrets, but instead the acidic waters of the lake, which are slowly eroding the cliff face on which the keep stands. It's for this reason that, among the, local, the locals, the fortress has become known as Dwindling Heights. Oh, I see. You'd, bet get, you'd best get used to it. Right then. One question left. Well, it seems like there's no point asking do you speak mouse, because, I mean, we're talking right now. Am I speaking mouse? I don't know. Was it you that helped me escape my cell? What do these chains tell you, Mousy? Does it look like I could help you escape? Yeah, I suppose not. Aye, and I wouldn't if I could. Right then. That's your lot. Are we all square? <laughs> That's all? You've told me almost nothing. I gave you more than you deserve. Don't you think you owe me at least something? Only thing you got coming from me is a good strangling. <laughs> with what? You've only got the one good leg free. I've killed mice for less, and with less. Ugly little... <sighs> Tell you what. Take a look behind me in my chamber pot. There might be a couple of florins in it for you. Wh why would there be florins in your chamber pot? Why? I'm not gonna hold them in forever, am I? Ew! Prisoner's Purse Captives brought to Dwindling Heights will often swallow their valuables. In order that they not be confiscated by the guards, they call it the Prisoner's Purse. Inevitably, nature will take its course. It's said that great wealth can be found in the chamber pots and sewers of Dwindling Heights. Oh my god, that is disgusting. It's worth a few florins to be rid of you. Don't let the door snap your tail. So, how do I get to the chamber pot? I saw it back there. Ah. Three of them. Are we gonna get to actually, like, buy stuff? I guess so, if we're getting money. Um, so I have a key. A key to the screaming door, right? That I got from the guard. So let's go over to the screaming door. 
just because I suspect the door is going to scream, and I've got tons of bottles, I'm going to knock him out. Oh! What the hell? I thought it was a guaranteed hit. That was not a guaranteed hit. Did it bounce off the, like, the weapon that they were holding? Guess I'll get a little bit closer. Okay. I almost got seen. Hide, 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 hide. Ooh. I'm guessing now's my chance. Tilo's so cute. Oh, there's a sleeping rat guard in there. Oh, they're not a rat guard, they're actually jailed. Barfin meals. Guard. Theft. Disorderly conduct. Oh, so they were a guard. Begging door. Anybody in here? Nope. Wish I could close it from the inside. I don't exactly feel comfortable exploring this place. Well, the guard just ran outside. Cupboard key. Fate guard. What are fate cards? Where do they show up? Miscellaneous? An arcane card used by some to divine one's fate. The guard's face bears an illustration of a fantastical creature, its limbs contorted to form mysterious symbols whose meaning you do not understand. Hmm. Probably used by someone later, I'm guessing? Someone who can use those guards to define my fate or something? I don't know. Oh yeah, I forgot to look at these things. Figurine of your child. The figurine of your infant son, Bryn. Bryn's... Uh, Lutka? Lutka? Is stained black with ash. I've also got my own trusty loot. The tool of your craft and one of your most prized possessions. It was carved by your master's master from driftwood gathered along the shores of Lake Valia. just like an obscene amount of food at this point. I mean, look at all this food. I've got eight mushrooms. Five, like, piles of grain. Oh, look at that. Oh, I guess I managed to open it while I was in midair. Cool. Oh, I can't carry any more bottles. Okay. Maxed out on that. I'm guessing I probably could have opened it, yeah, from here. Probably how you intended to do it. Ooh, stick. Cupboard key. Pirate's Baldric. Oh yeah, I've heard there's like a costume system. 
New quest, Pirate's Infamy. Um, from your inventory, a costume can be equipped or unequipped at the press of a button. Let's see, so Pirate is my new costume. My original one is the Minstrel, what I was just wearing before. A portly barrel of a rat with an infamous short fuse, Captain Otto Powderkeg was captain of the Galleon Lake Witch. He is perhaps the most renowned pirate ever to sail Lake Valia. In his wanted posters, Captain Powderkeg is always seen wearing... Pirate Captain's hat, eye patch, baldric with buckle slash ruff, silky sash, and gray buccaneer's boots. Yeah, so I guess that's going to come in handy somewhere. I don't think here, plus I don't think I have all that stuff yet, right? Pretty sure? No, there's no way. I've only got these four pieces of clothes and I've got these two equipped already. Can't carry any more candles. Oh, it's just like an unlimited pile of candles. Cool. Is that cloth hood? Hornet's nest. Uh... I don't think I want to be taking that, and it's got also a little, like, warning symbol next to it, but I guess? <laughs> a swarm of angry hornets assaults you. That's what I thought would happen. <laughs> but I had to check. Oh, so I didn't actually take it, right? They just assaulted me while I was trying to take it. Alright, well, let's eat a little bit of food. Look at that little bed, covered in straw. Ooh, 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 ooh. Saw me a little bit there, but we're fine. Um, okay. Could be something behind this, I suppose. I don't know if I want to burn everyone, there seems to be a lot of them. I think there was one out here, too, wasn't there? Over there. Eh, too close. Um, what do I do from here? Have I gained any new keys? I don't believe I have. Screaming door key, which is how I got in here. The key to my own cell. Hmm. So I think I'm missing something. Oh, you know what? I bet the guard has a key on them. Yeah. Oop. Didn't mean to do that. I meant to throw a bottle at them, but I didn't have it equipped! Uh-oh. Okay, it doesn't work. It doesn't work like that. Uh, I'm almost dead. Oh no! Little Tilo. Okay, definitely not a combat sort of thing. Not something to use in combat. Whoops. That's fine, though. There we go. What do you got on you? Handkerchief. Oh, that's it? Oh! Oh, 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 hello! I think I have to... Yeah, I gotta throw something at it. Uh-huh. The timer's not stopping this time. So I'm not gonna switch to the stick. I'm just gonna grab it. Begging door key. There we go. Ha-ha. Uh -huh. Save here. Alright, so we got the begging door key now. I think this is a pretty good place to end this episode. 
So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed so far. I certainly have. This game seems really good so far. I love it. It's adorable and really interesting. I love being a little mouse and having to like jump up to reach things and stuff. <laughs> it's really cool. So I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.